Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a new piercing video for you and it's all about stretching my earlobe piercings for the first time as in well I'll get to it later but like consciously purposely stretching them but yeah anyway uh, point is I've been wanting to do this for quite some time already but I continue to be too much of a cheapskate to actually buy a stretching kit. I finally bought a stretching kit. Um, yeah, uh, people who watch my videos more often, by the way, might have seen this being announced in a former piercing video already. But anyway, I bought it at All Over Piercings just because their uh, quality is just really, really, really good. And it consists of two tapers and two plugs, complete with O-rings, which are the little rubbery things that hold the thing in place. Um, yeah, this is a size 3 millimeter. That is one thing to keep in mind. The size that... Um, like the size that the tapers are stated as is the end size. So the size on the thickest part of the taper, not the thinnest part. So do keep that in mind also when it comes, like especially when you're stretching for the first time. Um, if your earlobes are short, it's usually 0.8 millimeters. I don't know gauges because we don't use gauges in the Netherlands. Um, but you can easily, easily look that up. Um, and if they're pierced, which is the recommended way, honestly... Then it's as usually 1.2 millimeters, and of course you don't want to go from like 1.2 millimeters straight up to 3 millimeters because that's just too big. It is very much recommended to really follow all the steps and all the different sizes of tapers and slowly get to your end game, like to the point where you want to be. Um, because you know you don't want to end up ripping your earlobe because that is the thing that can happen. Um, stretching is not supposed to hurt. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, for me personally, I know for my earlobe holes, um, yeah, I'm going to stretch the oldest ones and they're old. Like I've had these since I was like a very young teen. Now I feel old. Point is, um, yeah, I know I can fit 1.2. I never consciously stretch them, by the way. They just stretch due to wearing heavy earrings. On accident. But I know I can put 1.2 millimeters, uh, 1.6 millimeters through it, which is what these are. These are actually, um, the old jewelry meant for belly button piercings. And I know that I can easily, because I'm a lazy person, also shove a 0.8 millimeter, you know, normal, you know, earrings through it. So that brought me to the conclusion that I could probably get away with going to 3 millimeters immediately. Uh, two other things I'd like to mention is that it is recommended to also use some sort of lubricant. With all over piercings, they give you true jelly with it, which is a sterile um, sort of stretching loop. And um, otherwise you can also use stuff like coconut oil, virgin coconut oil, just to make the entire process a little bit easier. So here you can see a taper from up close. Um, you're not supposed to, be, supposed to keep this in the uh, piercing, by the way, because it's sort of long and you can easily get caught behind it. But they do give O-rings with it, just in case you want to take a break while stretching, which is very nice. And this is what one of the plugs looks like, also comes with two O-rings. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take out the old jewelry. Okay, it's out of there. Um, seriously, sometimes I really think they're glued on, but finally, after ages of filming, they're out of there. So now I'm going to use the taper. I've already put the true jelly on there, so I'm just going to slide through it easily. So yeah, at this point it doesn't hurt at all, it's not supposed to hurt, like I said before, because you don't want the earlobe to tear or anything. Um, but yeah, 3mm for me was good, because it just slides through it easily. So at this point the idea is to grab the uh, plug or stud or whatever you're going to use and just move it through there as well, along with the um, taper. Okay, not handy enough to push it through there at the same time, but you know, it's in there now and it feels very nice. I just left the uh, front o-ring on there and now I'm going to try to put the back one on. So yeah, that leaves us with two um, stretched earlobes. That really went really, really, really smooth. Um, I gotta admit though, again, I have no idea what size my earlobe holes were at this point because I've had them for so long and I've been wearing a lot of heavy earrings and yeah. Um... So this did, went, this, uh, this did went extremely smooth. It may be so if your earlobes are less stretchy or if you're actually starting from a certain point instead of not knowing where exactly you're starting from. It might go a little bit less smooth and you might need to actually wait between the stretching. That's why there's O-rings with the tapers as well. 
If you can't show it through further without hurting yourself, just put the overings on and wait for like a couple of minutes, half an hour. Take a warm shower, stuff like that, just to get the skin, the flesh, just, you know, get soft, loosen up a little. Um, and then carefully move on, and that way it could take like hours to get the stretching done for one day. But you know, it's better to take it easy, to take it slow, rather than to push it through there and cause damage to yourself, because you don't want to cause damage to your piercings, probably. Um, so yeah, for me personally, um, I'm aiming for 5 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this rest for a month. Uh, stretching an ear piercing or any piercing at all, that is something that takes time. So you will need to let it heal and just settle in this new width before you start stretching again. So I'm going to leave it alone for a month and then stretch it to 4 millimeters. And then I'm going to leave it alone for a month again and then stretch it to 5 millimeters. And that's where I'm going to stay. I don't want very large stretches because I don't think it suits me. I just want to go for something subtle, but there are some really cool plugs and stuff and hangers that I want to, you know, be able to wear. So I'm going to five for to go for five millimeters, blah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so um, I really hope this video was useful to you. And if you have any questions about piercings or about stretching piercings, piercings, whatever. Any piercing related questions, you can always ask me. But do please keep in mind, I'm not a piercer, I'm not a doctor. So if you have like really serious issues with the piercing, if you're really extremely concerned that something is really wrong, I do always recommend to just go see a piercer because they actually know what they're talking about. They can see your piercing for real. You know, that's just safer than just, you know, counting on my advice because again, I'm not a professional. I'm just someone with piercings. Um, below the video, I'll put a link to the uh, piercing, like the stretching kit that I bought. Just in case you want to look it up as well. And also you can find a full list of all my social media names and links there. Mostly active on Instagram with makeup. And I'd really love it if you'd follow me there. Um, for now, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you'll have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!